Hello. In this session, we are going to look at how you can uh, attach an existing IAM role to an uh, EC2 instance using Terraform. So at a very high level, IAM role can be used whenever we want to give access to um, services so that it can access some other resources. For example, let's say if you want EC2 to access your S3 bucket or if you want EC2 to access some other services, we can make use of your IAM role to give the necessary permissions for that. All right. Now, in our case, uh, we already have an IAM role created. So here, for example, let's say I have this role um, uh, that I have already created. Now, I want to attach this role to the EC2 instance that we are going to launch. Okay, so that's the example we are going to look at. And here is the code I have. I'll be sharing the link to this code in the description uh, section. Now, what we are going to do here is we are going to make use of the data source block to uh, fetch the information about the existing resource, the existing IAM role that we have, and then use that um, and attach it into my EC2 instance that we are going to launch. All right. So let's start uh, copying this code one by one. So here is the data source block that we have. So what we are doing here, uh, I'm going to basically tell, you know, fetch the instance profile. So that's my resource type, that's my local name, and then we have the name. So we are, I'm making use of a variable. So basically here will be the name of the IAM role that I want to fetch. So uh, the value I'm, I'm passing it in my variable. So let me take this and let me create my data.tf. So this becomes my data source block. Then uh, we'll make use of the provider block where we have the provider. So I'm going to create this on the AWS platform. So this will be my provider dot TF. Then let's use the uh, main dot TF. So this is where uh, we are launching the EC2 instance and then we are um, attaching the uh, IAM role. All right. So here, if you see, that's my instance type. No, sorry, that's the resource type, the local name, uh, instance type, AMI, and the role. So we are using this IAM instance profile key, the argument key, and the value we are taking it from the data source block. All right. So let me save this. So here you can see this is the data uh, block I have, and then here I have the resource block. All right. So from the data source block the resource name aws underscore im underscore instance underscore profile the local name existing role uh, i'm telling fetch the role name so basically go to the uh, im console um, search for a um, im role with the name i have and get me the name of that role all right so that's what we are doing here now the next thing is defining our uh, variables. So here I have all my variables. All right. So I have four variables. So let me take that and let me define my variables block. And then finally, we are going to have the terraform.tf vars where we have all the values. All right. So I have the region, the EC2, and uh, the AMI and the role name. So terraform.tfvars and here you can see so this is the role that is already existing for me so let me save this file let's initialize this and we'll generate a plan which will show that uh, it is going to launch one ec2 instance and also it will show me the profile the im profile that we have that it is attaching it so let me generate a plan for this and uh, here you can see the instance profile role for ec2 so this is telling me that when i launch this instance it will be attaching this im role to the ec2 instance okay so let's go ahead and apply this so i will do a terraform apply and i will auto approve this and this will start launching the EC2 instance and it will, so it will also attach the IAM role that we have specified. So in this case, uh, we're using the existing role that we have. So we're using the data source block to fetch the information about that uh, existing IAM role. And then we are passing that information to the resource block. 
and uh, my Terraform is using that and attaching it to the new resource that we are launch launching over here. So this is one way um, you can uh, make use of your Terraform to attach your IAM role to the EC2 instance. Now we can also have cases where you can uh, create new roles from the Terraform code itself and you can attach that to the EC2 instance. Uh, we will see an example for that in, in the upcoming uh, videos. And this is done. So now if you go and validate, so let me refresh this. So here, this is the new instance I have. You can see this is initializing. And if you go and look at the role, you can see my role is attached over here. So that's what we use. So in your resource block, we simply pass this argument and the value. So in if it's a new IAM role, then we will be you know passing the resource uh, type and, and the other information. But this is the argument we use to attach an IAM role to an EC2 instance. So once again, here we have used an existing role uh, in the next session or in the upcoming session, I will show you how you can uh, create new roles using Terraform and then attach that to the EC2 instance that we are going to launch. That's all for this session. Thank you. Once again, before you leave, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And if you like the video, leave a like and please share the video. Thank you.